Everything is getting faster and quicker. So why do you want to be slow while working on your laptop? If you still use your mouse more than your keyboard, that's going to waste you a lot of time. If you want to type faster, boost your productivity, and also save a lot of time for free, well, I have a solution. This video will do just that. In this video, I will be telling not only one, or two, or even five, but more than 15 of the best keyboard shortcuts, which will definitely save you a lot of time. These 15 keyboard shortcuts start off simple, like what the Windows key does. But they become better and better as you watch the video. Stay tuned till the end, because you will find out how to create your own keyboard shortcut to open any app on your Windows PC. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and let's get right to the video. Keyboard shortcut number one is for opening any application on your laptop. To do so, press the Windows key on your keyboard. Once you press that, you'll see so many apps in this list over here. You can scroll down. Now you can directly open apps from here. Like say I want calculator. I click on it and calculator will open. But another way is by pressing Windows key and searching for the application you want. So for example, if I want to open Microsoft Edge, I'll just search Microsoft Edge and once it appears, I can either click open over here or I can just press the enter key. I'll press enter and here it is, Microsoft Edge opens. The next keyboard shortcut is to open any app which is already open on your laptop. So for that, press the Alt key on your keyboard and press Tab. And once you press Tab, you will see this list open, which shows all of the open apps. Now, if you want to move to the other one, so keep on holding Alt and press the Tab button. Do not stop holding Alt key and press Tab. And you see it will continue moving. And once you leave it at an app, it will open that app. So say I want to open ShareX, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll take my finger off the Alt key and it opens it. Now I can open Microsoft Edge like this. And another way is by pressing Control Alt Tab. What that does, you press the Control Alt and Tab. It opens the same thing, but now you can take your finger off Alt. And to move forward and back, just press the left and right arrow keys. And then say I want to open Calculator, click Enter. There. Now that we finally know how to move from one window to another, let's learn how to move from one tab to another tab in our browser. I'll open Microsoft Edge. Here it is. You can see I have four tabs open at the top. Now currently I'm on this tab right here. If I want to move to any other tab, the same way you press Alt plus Tab, just press Control plus Tab. So I'll hold the Control key down and I'll press Tab. Tab. It takes me to this tab. If I press it again and move next, again, again, again. You can also move backwards by pressing Control, Shift, and Tab. And here it is. Now, if you want to stay on any tab, for example, this one, just remove your finger and it will stay here. Now, let's talk about keyboard shortcuts related to text. So I'll open Notepad and see, I have written something over here. Say I want to add an emoji of a laptop. Now, to get an emoji menu, just press the Windows and period key on your keyboard. And here it is. Now here you can either go and find it over here or the easiest way is by clicking the search button and start typing what you want. So I want a laptop and then just click enter. And here it is, this emoji appears right over here. Navigating between text is easy. Say I'm at this place right over here or, and I want to go to the beginning of the whole sentence meaning I want to come right over here. To do that, it's simple. Just press the home key on your keyboard and it goes to the very beginning as you see. And if you wanted to go to the very beginning of the page, press control and home. And it goes to the very beginning of the page. Just like that, if you want to go to the end of the line, press the end key. And if you wanted to go to, go to the end of the page, press the control and end key and it goes to the end of the page. An easy way is by using a keyboard shortcut. So say my cursor is over here. 
like next to away. If I want to select something to the left of my cursor or above my cursor, I can press and hold Control and Shift and press the left arrow key as many times as I want. Whoa, and it continues to select everything. Like that you can select however much you want. But say you don't want to select what's to the left of it. You want to select something to the right of it or something below the cursor. To do that, again, press, the, press and hold Control and Shift, but press the right arrow key, and it's going to select everything in front of that or toward the right of it. But if you want to select the whole text in the whole document, just press and hold Control and press A, and then release it. And it's going to select everything in one second. Now that we know how to select text, let's talk about copying, pasting, and cutting text. So what is copying text? It's like, say, this word solution, I want to copy it and move it somewhere else. So to copy it, all I have to do is select it, and on my keyboard, press Control and C, and that's going to copy it. And now wherever you want to paste it, just move to that place and press Control and V, and it's going to paste that exact same thing. Now. Let's not think about this. Let's think about cutting. Cutting is like you take this word from here. It's going to be removed and so you can paste it somewhere else. So say I want to remove Windows PC from here and put it over here. To do so, I'll select Windows PC. I'll press Control and X. It takes it away right from there. And then I'll move somewhere else and I'll press Control and V to paste it. Like for example, I copied this word PC. I press Control and C. And then I copy rock. Control and C. So I can paste rock whatever I want like this. But what if I want to paste the word PC? What will I do? Well, for that, you have to use something in the clipboard history. For that, just press the Windows and D key on your keyboard and it appears right over here. So if you click on PC, it's going to be pasted right over here where your cursor was. If you want to know more about clipboard history, like what features there are and how to enable it, I'll link the video in the description and in the info button. So go ahead and check that out. Now let's talk about deleting text. So everyone knows that wherever you keep your cursor, say I keep it near the B of subscribe, towards the right of the subscribe B, and I click backspace, it's going to delete the B. And everyone also knows that to delete the E, which is towards the right side of the cursor, you have to press delete, like that. But what if you want to delete complete words? Like I want to delete this full word, which is wrong. All I have to do is if I want to delete something towards the left of the cursor, I'll keep my cursor there. And I'll press Control and Backspace, and it's going to delete the whole word. But if you want to delete a whole word to the right of the cursor, keep your cursor and do Control plus Delete. Wow. Like me, if you always have so many apps open on your laptop like this, and you just want to see your clean desktop, well, just press the Windows and D key on your keyboard and it will minimize everything. Or else, another way to do it is by pressing the Windows and M key. That also does the same thing. When you want to turn your laptop off, what most people do is they press the Windows key, click on the power icon, and they choose from here. But instead of having to click so much, there's an easier way. On your keyboard, when you're at the desktop screen, press the Alt and F4 key, and it will show and it will show such a drop-down menu. Now you can use your up and down arrow keys to choose which one you want, and then press OK. Now let's talk about shortcuts to open applications. If you want to open the settings, press Windows and I and it will open the settings. If you want to open Task Manager, press the Control, Shift, and Escape keys, and it opens Task Manager. And also, if you use the Windows Explorer, just press the Windows and E key, 
and it will open your Windows Explorer. Now let's talk about creating your own keyboard shortcut to open an application. But remember, if you downloaded an application from the Microsoft Store, this might not be possible. But let's try. If I want to create a shortcut for Movavi Video Editor, all I have to do is press the Windows key on my keyboard and search for Movavi. And when it appears, you'll see this option which is Open File Location. I'll click on that. And once it opens, I'll right click on that Movavi Video Suit. I'll click on Properties. And you'll see this place with the shortcut key. All I have to do is click in that area and say I want to set a shortcut which is Control Alt M. And there it is. Now let's click Apply, OK, and close this. If I want to open Movavi Video Suit anytime later, I press Control Alt and M and it will come. Here it is. I hope these keyboard shortcuts helped you as much as they helped me. Comment down below which keyboard shortcut was new to you and which video you want next. Thanks a lot for tuning in. See you in the next video.